Last month I did a report on the increasing child labor in the United States. It appears that it's not simply limited to two meat packing plants, but now two 10 year olds have been found working at McDonald's. An investigation by the U.S. Department of Labor has revealed that two 10-year-olds have been working at McDonald's in Kentucky. According to the report, the children worked completely unpaid, often forced to work until 2 a.m. Violations were found at other locations. According to The Guardian, the three McDonald's franchises cited the investigation own a total of 62 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Maryland, and Ohio, and were found to employ 305 children working more than the legally permitted hours and performing job tasks prohibited by law for their age. Civil penalties totaling $212,754 were issued against the franchisees for the violations. The franchisees include Bauer Foods, based in Louisville, Archways Richwood, based in Walton, Kentucky, and Bell Restaurant Group, also based in Louisville. About 93% of McDonald's locations worldwide are operated by franchises. It has been repeatedly found that 14 and 15 year olds have been working more than what is legally allowed by law and they have been exceeding their daily and weekly limits of hours including cases where workers found teenagers working during school hours. Now this is all occurring at a time when various capitalist enterprises are spending exorbitant amounts of money on lobbying trying to get many children's labor laws overturned. Karen Garnett Civils of the U.S. Labor Department said, We are seeing an increase in federal child labor violations, including allowing minors to operate equipment and handle types of work that endangers them or employs them for more hours or later in the day than federal law allows. An employer who hires young workers must know the rules. An employer, parent, or a young worker with questions can contact us for understanding their obligations and rights under the law. The damage is very real. Previously, the owner of seven McDonald's restaurants in the Pennsylvania towns of Erie and Warden were fined for using 14 and 15 year olds to work at times and over hours not permitted by federal child labor laws. Several of them were placed with deep fryers, which does not allow workers under 16 to operate. 154 minor employees' rights were violated with fines totaling $92,107. Pennsylvania-based McDonald's franchise, the owner of 13 locations in the Pittsburgh area, was fined in December for child labor violations covering 101 work minor workers. The civil penalty of 57,332 was assessed for these violations. And last June, a 15-year-old was injured by a deep fire in Tennessee in which it is illegal for them to operate. The child suffered serious burns while the company was fined $3,258. What we're seeing here very clearly is child labor laws being overturned in the United States all for the sake of getting a newer workforce that's not informed of their rights and in fact in many cases don't have particular rights in these in many areas because they're not supposed to be working period. What these capitalist enterprises are looking for is labor that can be more easily disciplined, bullied, threatened, etc. And that's exactly what it is they want, in part of McDonald's big drive to fight unionization efforts, which is a democratic right that Americans are supposed to have. So what we're seeing very clearly right here is that capitalism is abusing children. And even this is very mild compared to what goes on in the third world. Reporting from Niagara Falls, Jason Unruh, MRN. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.